Corey McMullen from Urban Organics is here with the do's and don'ts of composting because there is a science behind this, right? Almost like a recipe, Corey. There is a recipe and there's a lot of science behind this. So where do we begin? If we want to do this at home, I mean, there are different containers people can get, even if they live in a smaller space and don't have a huge yard. Right. If you have a small space, I would definitely recommend like a compost tumbler or something like that. But if you have a yard and you can actually put a pile of, of decomposing stuff on the ground, um, then just go directly on the ground. If you have a yard that it's out of the way and you can start building your compost pretty easily. And this is not only just for garden, but like your landscaping, right? All of your landscaping. I mean, you can see we've got uh, grass clippings here, uh, raked up leaves, okay. uh, paper from a shredder that could be inside your house, old bills, stuff like that, uh, sticks and twigs. There's just all kinds of different materials from outside around your landscape. It doesn't necessarily have to be just kitchen scraps. Okay. Paper towels and egg cartons and shredded paper. I am so intrigued. I had no idea. Right. So okay. you're you're going to make your own little compost piles today, and then we'll load them into the to the compost tumbler. You know, okay. Courtney, any segment with latex gloves is always it's a, good a good one. Segment. <laughs> <laughs> what do we need to get started? <laughs> you never uh, know what's going to come out of well, his mouth. Corey. Exactly. So first of all, we need our, our latex gloves, uh, and then some set, some expectations of, apparently with Derek. Um, <laughs> so you need carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and water. Those are your basic four ingredients. Okay, okay. so um, we'll start with the easy stuff and that's nitrogen. That's where most people start with pulling their kitchen scraps and it's also where a lot of mistakes are made just by balancing out the total amount of each different type of material that you need. Okay. Um, so go ahead and just dump this into your into your compost. And here. Basically these are this is just veggie scraps, right? This is all just a uh, bok choy that, that got uh, some pest damage and then okay. there's an apple and banana peel and stuff like that. Um, just dump all of that in there. Okay. All right, so now we're going to need a little bit of carbon material, which would be the, your paper or your sticks. Okay, so, so I'll do paper. And Corey, you say that a, a general rule of thumb is that we want to have about 80% brown, 20% green? Correct. So break that down for us. 80-20. So we started out, you can see on the bottom of your, your, your box there, you started out with basically straw that was, that's a carbon material. Uh, it's a, a straw is grass, but once it dies and it lays in the field for a while and all the green has gone out of it, it's technically a carbon material. Oh. Um, same thing with your sticks and twigs, those are carbon materials. Uh, natural paper, not the shiny stuff that you yeah. get in your uh, mailers and stuff like that, but natural paper, uh, cardboard. Um, Eggshells would also be considered a, a carbon material. Uh, okay. When they break down, they add all kinds of great nutrients, uh, calcium and stuff like that to your soil. Okay. All right, so keep grabbing. Uh, you just alternate a little bit in your layers here between green and brown. So your next, go ahead and, and grab okay. some of the leaves. Those are partial green, partial brown, just because we had a lot of green leaves still that we cut. And cut even down. these paper towels, for real? Yeah, paper towels, as long as it doesn't have any, t any type of a paper product that doesn't have um, animal fats or grease or anything like that on it. So But if you had tomato sauce on it or something, that's okay? That's fine. It's a natural really? it's it's a natural thing there. All right. Okay. So now you've got more green. Okay. And these are just grass clippings, that's right? That's grass clippings and a tomato that I oh. pulled from the garden earlier this morning. Okay. Now, how long, Corey, until something like this really starts looking like something like that, the finished product, the soil? That really depends on a, on a number of things. Um, first of all, the smaller the pieces of, of material that you put into your compost uh, are, the faster they'll decompose. So smaller surface area, it allows for um, beneficial microbes and bacteria to break everything down uh, into a smaller, into your finished compost faster. But a blanket answer on that would be anywhere from four to eight months until you're actually using compost from your bin. So oh, then wow. what do we do with this? This goes into, this basically is just gonna sit? Right, so the, we did this so you could see how you would layer it if you're doing it out on the ground outside. Um, but if you've got a, contained, a, a container like this, um, these are great. Um, there, you've got two chambers that you can work out of. So basically you just dump all of this and into your chamber and make sure you're keeping that 80-20 that brown to green ratio. Uh -huh. um, fill this up and start tumbling and while that one's tumbling and, and, and cooking basically, uh, you start filling that one up with your household. It's so cool. So you can continuously add more items to something like a tumbler. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, the amount, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be shocked if you start home composting, you'll be shocked at the amount of green and brown material that you A, have to collect and B, that it takes to actually get a usable amount of of finished compost. Average is about four to six yards to will equal one yard. So four to six cubic yards of material 
will could break down into about one yard of finished compost. That vegan compost looks so beautiful. That finished product is great. So these are two different types of compost. This is more of a, this is all leaves and, and twigs. It's a lot more carbon. It takes a little bit longer. Uh, and this is just a, an all around general uh, landscaping compost. Um, these are all both provided by uh, the ground up. Cool. Very nice. And you have a special offer, Corey, if, in case someone doesn't want to try this at home and they want to just have you come and do it. We do. The few clients that we that we compost with, um, their compost bins are full and they're active. So I had to borrow this from Buchanan's uh, and they want you guys to compost as well. So they're going to give you 10% off if you go in and mention the show between now and July 15th, 10% off of any of the compost barrels that they Fantastic. have. Fantastic. Nice. We do love Buchanan's. Corey, it's great to see you. Thanks for all Likewise. the tips. May we all uh, plant well, garden well, and eat well, right? If you'd like to see the complete list of items you can add to the compost pile, you can visit the DIY section of our website, HoustonLife.tv.